All right, guys, this is your tutorial on how to download, install, and use Daemon Tools. Daemon Tools is a virtual disk drive, and it's something that you can use to work with ISO files. Now, what you'll do is you'll click on the link that I've given you, or you can copy and paste the link that I've given you in the instructions that I post on Blackboard. That will bring you to the Daemon Tools site. From there, what you'll do is come on down here to Game and Tools Lite and click on Download. And then go ahead and click here on Download again. It may take you to a different site, but the download is pretty much the same. Save file. and you'll be downloading it. Now, what I'm doing here is I've got this, so I'm going to go ahead and run the executable. At this point, this tool will tell me, hey, I've got um, some issues. Okay, this tool will come up with its little box and ask if you want to continue. That's when the screen spiked out, and now we're going to go. We'll select the language, English sounds good. Clicking next on this first screen. Okay, we'll accept the end user license agreement. We want a free license for personal use. Now, what I want to do here is to take out all of these things except for the desktop shortcut and start menu shortcuts because those will make it easier for us to find it. But we don't need it integrated with Internet Explorer, um, have sidebar gadgets or browser toolbars or change our default search provider. Clicking next, we don't want the browser start page to be daemonsearch.com, so we'll uncheck that. Clicking next. And this all looks good, so we'll install. Now pause a second while this installs. And after that's done, you will have to go through and reboot. So the computers can be restarted in order to complete the installation. So we'll go ahead and restart now, and I'll pick this up as soon as my computer comes back online. Okay, now we're back. We've got our Daemon Tools Lite installed. We'll go ahead and double click it. Windows will ask us if we want to continue if we have Vista installed, and it will update our virtual devices. Now, most of the time, you'll want to access, when you access Daemon Tools, you'll be accessing it down here from the, <coughs> from the taskbar down at the little icons over in this area. So let's let this thing update our virtual devices. And now that it's done updating our virtual devices, we can see that the little Daemon Tools light icon has appeared down in the lower right-hand corner of our screen. So, <clears throat> this is assuming that you've already downloaded the ISO file for access. How you use Daemon Tools is now you go here and you right-click. And you see all these different things that you have here. Well, I'm going to go to Virtual Devices and say, hey, device G, which is my new virtual disk drive. And I'm going to go over there, I'm going to click on it, and I want to mount an image. So I'm going to mount an image, and it's going to say, hey, where is the image that you want to mount? Well, I'm going to go to where I have all my ISO files. For me, they're in C temp. You may have yours downloaded someplace else. I'm just going to choose any 
ISO file here. Um, I'll choose the one for Expression Studio. And you see here is the ISO file. So I click on that. I click Open. And now I've got this mounted in a virtual disk drive. How do I know that? Well, I go over here to Computer and take a look at all my drives. And Drive G is where I have Expression Studio. So I double click that. to start my setup program. Easy as that. If I want to get rid of it, then I go here. I go to Virtual Devices, Virtual CD-ROM, and I unmount the image. Unmounting the image, whoop, we can see that now my DVD-ROM drive is now empty. So that is how you can install and use Daemon Tools to work with ISO images.